Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's episode we're going to be starting our new Dai Pai Dong series dedicated to this important feature of Hong Kong street food. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel and as always leave a like if you enjoyed this video and feel free to leave any comments down below. So stick around and I hope you enjoyed this video. We're at Sing Hong Yen. It's going to be the first stop on our Dai Pai Dong tour. And right now it's around 4 p.m. So as you can guess, we're going to be having afternoon meal food. And this place specializes in noodles and macaroni soup. We'll be trying that, of course, as well as their toast, which is another popular item on the list. And of course, because it's afternoon tea, we decided to get two ice milk teas. Very popular to have. Yeah, the milk tea. Um, generally, their milk tea is a bit on the sweeter side compared to some other Hong Kong milk teas you might have. I think their ratio is probably higher towards the condensed milk. But then, of course, it's afternoon tea. It's something you must have and it's a very delicious version of Hong Kong milk tea. So here is my order. The instant noodles with some beef and of course the sunny side egg on top. So the instant noodles are really one of their specialties here this and there's the tomato broth which is um, about to come. Let's, let's try the soup. You want to try the soup? Mm. Very, uh, very reminiscent and very, very familiar. The main taste is like a typical instant noodle soup. I think they may have added some extra beef broth or extra seasoning into it because it does not taste exactly the same as some instant noodle soups that I've tried before. So I think they may have added a bit of additional um, spice or some additional seasoning into it. So here I'll try the instant noodles. Mm. Just your typical instant noodles. Um, very well executed, very simple, but very well well done. And then it's very reminiscent of my childhood since I've grown up on these kinds of instant noodles. But overall, very hearty and definitely something I think for afternoon snack, afternoon snack as well is going to be very nice to have. And of course the beef, so some thin slices of beef, let's try this also. Mm. The beef is sliced very thin, but then it's very tender, no, no problem in terms of the chew. It's got that light seasoning also, not too overpowering, but then when you put it into the broth, that's where it gets most of the flavor from. But I, I really enjoy the beef as a topping, very nice. Let's try a bit of the egg. Mm. Chinese side egg with the noodles is a very perfect combination. Since it's quite light compared to other kinds of egg, um, there's a silky texture and then it also absorbs the, the soup from the, um, the noodle dish. And you can also add a bit of the chili oil into your noodles if you want a kick. I'll try a bit. So here we go. Just mix it all up a bit. So I'll try the noodles with a bit of the chili oil. See if there's a really big difference. Mmm. Yeah. It actually goes really well because not too spicy, but it has that aroma which I think beforehand was not very strong. When you add the chili oil, the, the aroma increases. So um, it's not exactly on the spicy side. It's more of a salty, it's like a salty aroma which you can add to your noodles if you want. It goes really well together in my opinion. Try the soup also. Mm. Yeah, that goes really well together. You should add it. If, you, if they have it here, you should add it. And this is their popular dish here, which is the tomato soup. It's a combination of tomato puree, canned tomatoes, as well as fresh tomatoes as well. And this one is with the sausage and pork chop with an egg on top as well. And this one is coming with the macaroni as compared to the instant noodles. So you have the freedom to select what kind of noodles you want for your soup as well. So let's try a bit of the tomato soup first. It's a nice sour and tangy combination of tomato flavor. I think yeah, the tomato flavor is just right. It's not too watery, it's not too strong as well. Now let's try the macaroni. You can see some chunks of tomato in the soup. So it's 
it's a very hearty dish. It almost tastes similar to the borscht in terms of the flavor of the soup. But then with the macaroni and then some chunks of the tomato, it gives them the mouthfeel is really nice. It's not just the smooth soup, but you have the chew from the macaroni. So you get a really nice essence of tomato flavor, not overpowering, and very, very nice balance in my opinion. I can tell why this is the popular dish here. And as you can see, some bits of pork chop cut up. You can try it with the soup also. And just very tender pieces of pork chop. Um, not too heavy on the flavor as it's still soaking in the soup. So um, the pork chop itself is slightly seasoned, but together with the macaroni as well as the soup, goes very well. And so we also ordered two kinds of the toast they have here. This is the honey and lemon with some butter on top, toasted bun. And here we also have the butter and kaya toast. Um, same toasted bun but different toppings. So we're going to be trying both. I'll start with the butter, honey, and lemon. Mm. So, of course, the bun is very toasted, very crispy. Then it's not overpowering in terms of the toppings. You have that slight sweetness from the honey as well as the slight citrusness from the lemon. Overall, I would not say it's very strong in terms of the honey lemon flavor, but you have that complement of flavor. It goes really well together for me. It's a nice pairing also if you have your um, noodle soup. So this is the butter and kaya toast. So of course the, the buns are very similar, nice crispy texture, but this one is, um, because it doesn't have the citrus flavor, it's more of a concentrated sweet flavor from the kaya toast, and then it still has that nice butter finish, but because you're only having the kaya toast instead of having a honey lemon combination, it's more concentrated on the sweet side, but still very nice, um, very nice version of the toast they have here. Can you imagine for all of that, just 141 Hong Kong dollars? This is the beauty of the Dai Pai Dong. That's going to be it for this video guys. Once again, I hope you enjoyed the content I put out. And stick around for next week's episode as we visit another legendary Dai Pai Dong. That's going to be it for now. See you in the next video.